Amongst my friends, I'm kind of known as the tech guy. I really like tech and smart home stuff. You know, this is my second house where every single light switch I could change with my phone or my voice. You know, I even had a trash can that I could open up with my voice. Open can. The whole reason that I drive a Tesla is just because I like the tech. And something that's been on my to-do list is to get a smart sprinkler system. Basically, we were on vacation, and while we were gone, it literally rained every single day, and my sprinklers were running, and I just felt like I was wasting water. And I was like, man, it'd be so nice if I could just turn it off with my phone. And that's when I jotted that on my to-do list was to get a smart sprinkler system. So life goes on, you get too busy, didn't have time to get around and actually do it. But I'm searching through my inbox and I got an email from this company, Emo Laza, saying, hey, we've got this cool smart sprinkler system. Could you please review it for us? We'll give you a unit for free. And nine times out of 10, I just delete those emails. I get a bunch of that junk. And most of the time it's just stuff that I don't want or need. But the reason that I stopped on this email is like, well, I guess that is on my to-do list. Let's go ahead and check it out. And usually with that sort of thing, it's some new startup company that has no reviews. I can't find anything about the product, but I was pleasantly surprised. Like there was a lot of good information out there on this unit. The reviews were overwhelmingly super positive. So I was actually like, wow, that's a diamond in the rough. You know, I actually would like to try it out. So they sent me this unit completely free. What I really liked too is they gave me no restrictions, didn't try to tell me how to make the video at all, gave me the free reins. So I just wanted to disclose that because obviously I'm biased since I got this for free. But regardless of that, I'll do my absolute best to stay completely neutral and tell you my honest opinion of what I think of this and if it's a good unit. I think it's great packaging. You can just tell it looks together really well. The presentation when you open it looks really good. I think the product actually looks really nice on the wall too. I like the white minimalistic sleek design. You can tell they've put a lot of thought into it and the instructions were about as easy as it gets to install. You know, putting up a sprinkler system in my opinion actually isn't too hard just to begin with. It's kind of intuitive but you know they really went above and beyond with giving you clear large text, easy to read instructions with illustrations. They even give you stickers so you can label all the lines. I think most sprinkler systems, the lines are going to be color coded. So a pro tip is just take a picture before you uninstall it. So you can resort back to that to know, you know, what order your colors go in for each zone. But it basically took me like five to 10 minutes. It was literally almost as easy as just snapping my fingers. I thought it was a really nice touch that they gave you a template to drill holes for mounting it on the wall. And they also even had other holes on the back of the device if you just wanted to do a more of a traditional mount where you could take it off at well so that's the physical actual stuff you know the hardware but where this product really shines and the reason why i would recommend it is the software it's the app because like i said i've got a lot of different smart home stuff and the worst thing ever is when the app is ugly it's not intuitive it's janky it has glitches it shuts down a lot that is the most frustrating thing especially for people who aren't tech savvy you know you don't want to spend half a day setting things up only to never really fully understand it or have it work the way that you wanted and the developers who designed the app and actually made it you can tell did a really good job it was super easy to set up i think it's elegant design as you can see here it's organized really really well and it just works i had zero problems with the app which is not too common and like i said i've never had a smart sprinkler system before this so i've never had anything to compare it to so maybe that's why i was so impressed because maybe these are just common features that are on all of the smart sprinkler systems but i was just really surprised and pleasantly delighted that it had a lot of features that I never even thought of but are super useful. Another little point I wanted to mention about the app and stuff that's really refreshing and nice to see is you can tell they want to improve it and they're asking for user feedback. Just if you click on the settings right there, feature suggestions. I mean, how often do you see that? And then you could write a suggestion. You could even add some pictures, throw in your email and continue. That would just be something if you were like, man, it would be so cool if this could do that and then you send it to them so next time they're in a meeting discussing how they can improve their product they're going to take all of those featured suggestions from their users and figure out you know which one makes the most sense to try to accomplish and implement i just think that that's genius and shows that they really do care about their customers I also like that they have report a bug or device failure so if something does go wrong with your device you can let them know about it so that they can fix it and then they have a help center which takes you to their website with your basic most commonly asked questions a glossary and that sort of thing which is nice. So the app was really easy to walk through when you first set it up. Basically, you're going to tell it what zones you have. And with setting up the zones, I just thought it was in a really good chronological order to where you click on the zone and then you can do a 
a test or a quick run. So it'll actually run the zone. You're making sure that it's set up properly and working, but then you can take a picture of it, which I think is the best way to visualize and remember which zone is which. Cause obviously I'm gonna name it something like right backyard, but then actually visually being able to see a picture of it with the sprinklers actually running in that actual area makes it very intuitive and nice and easy for anyone to understand. But ask a lot of input questions, which at first I thought, you know, maybe this is bad because it's gonna take a lot of time to set up where you know a traditional dumb switch like this, you don't have to do that, but it's gonna ask really important questions. First off, it wants to know where you live. And the reason for that is because it's going to sync with your local weather so that it can do a lot of smart capabilities. Like the example I said in the beginning, if it's raining, your sprinklers aren't gonna come on because obviously it, they don't need to come on, it's raining. But the only way it'll know that is by knowing your location. But then it wants to know, you know, what kind of grass are you actually growing? It wants to know, you know, how much sun is it getting a day? Is it on a slope? What kind of sprinklers are actually watering that area? How big of a surface area is getting watered? But it uses all these inputs to create a smart schedule and to help you later on in the setup process. So you can actually set up multiple schedules. And when you set this up, you know, you've got some really cool options. So like the new grass schedule, which new grass has different needs than old established grass. So you can actually have it water many times a day and meet the needs to help those seeds germinate and get that new grass healthy. You've got a fixed schedule, which is kind of your typical what you're used to. It is nice though, since it is smart, you have more flexibility with the start times, which I'll get to in a little bit. But then the one that I chose was just the uh, smart schedule, which is gonna use your local weather to help determine how much it needs to water. And it's also gonna use all those inputs, like how much surface area is it? What kind of sprinkler head is it? Is it on a slope? Does it get shade? What kind of grass is it? To automatically determine how much it would recommend water. And obviously you can change it from there. But what I was really impressed on is it recommended almost exactly what I was doing. It even knew for a drip line that that needs a ton of time. I believe it gave it 144 minutes, unlike, you know, a sprinkler one that would be like, you know, 20 minutes or whatever. So it was really impressive. Again, maybe all of them do that, but I was just surprised like, wow, that was really nice. I didn't have to input all that information. And it was kind of reassuring, gave me confidence. Like what I was doing to water my lawn was a good decision because, you know, they're obviously experts on this. They're pretty much recommending right what I was using before. Now, another thing I really like because I'm actually in a seasonal area where we have winters and we get snow and that sort of stuff is they have a few different ways that you can actually set it once and forget it. Cause that's the ultimate use case for technology is to make your life easier, right? So with using the smart capabilities this guy has, you can set it and then just forget it. So if it's raining and it's supposed to bring your sprinklers on, you don't have to like pull out your phone and say, hey, don't run the sprinklers today. It already knows that and will do that for you. Furthermore, if you live in a cold climate like I do, you can tell it, hey, this schedule, I want it to run from this time of the year to this time of the year. So set it up for like, you know, a six month or nine month or whatever it is, period. They also have another way of doing it, which is with the standby mode to where you just set the schedule and it runs forever. But you can have a standby mode where basically it's off and you can set that to go off during the winter season, which again is just really nice that you just have to set it one time, pretty much let it be, let it do its thing, unless you figure out that the way you set it up, you wanna tweak something, but it's just really cool. Like, I wasn't expecting it to have that, and that's why I was pleasantly surprised. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but if you're anything like me, when you're just looking at this app, I think you would agree that it is very sleek and it's a really good design. It just looks good in my opinion. I like the way that it's set up. It's easy to read, it makes sense, it's intuitive. I really like the quick run feature because a lot of times I like to fertilize and some of the fertilizers that I use, like a weed and feed, might say it's best to wet the grass first so I can just do a quick run run each zone for a minute get it wet real quick so I can do the fertilizer that's really nice I really like that they give you the option to turn off the LED light because that's personal preference I kind of like it it looks nice but I know there'd definitely be some people that don't want a blue ring light on all the time so you can actually turn it off or turn down the LED if you think it's too bright I just have the unit but I can see here just by looking at the app that you can actually set up a rain sensor which is probably something I will add later so that you even have more smart capabilities to where obviously you could tell hey is there enough moisture content in the area you're trying of water if so it doesn't need water if not it does need water so yeah i haven't had this a full season yet so i haven't really gotten to know all the little quirks and queries but i can tell you for sure right off the bat i'm very impressed with the user interface how easy and intuitive it was to set up and use and so far it's been great you can obviously turn on the notifications but i have it on on my phone and it's nice to see you know each morning if it did water how long it watered that sort of thing 
And I guess probably all smart schedules do that, but I wasn't even thinking in my head, oh, because it's connected to the internet, you could use things like sunrise and sunset. I'm not claiming to be an expert in watering the lawn, but I know from just brief reading that it's good to water the lawn early in the morning, like as the sun is rising, either right after or right before. And it's really cool. You can actually tell it, hey, I want it to finish right before the sun rises, or I want it to start right when the sun rises. And obviously as the year goes on, that time is gonna be changing, but because it's smart and connected to the internet, it can change your start times as it goes on. And it's really cool how you can do advanced things that you just can't do on a dumb switch. And again, I haven't done enough research to see if you can do it on the other ones, but I was really impressed. And I'm positive that there's definitely some smart ones out there that don't have these kind of features. One thing is, you know, especially if you're on a slope, you can get what's called runoff. So the water starts going onto the soil and then it kind of builds up like a little layer of water. And it's almost like any water you put on top of that just runs right off. Almost like it creates a hydrophobic layer on top of your soil so that you're not actually getting anything absorbed in there. And ideally what you'd wanna do there is water it, get it wet, then stop, let that to actually soak in and then water it again. It can actually do that. So you can say, hey, I want it to water 20 minutes and it'll bounce back and forth between zones. So it'll water this one for a minute, then turn it off and go to another zone and then come back to this zone, but have it actually water for a full 20 minutes to prevent that water runoff and to ensure that you're actually getting moisture to absorb into the soil. So you can tell it like, do you have a lot of clay in your soil or is it a sandy soil? So it kind of understands how water disperses and absorbs into the soil that you have. So it's really hard to find anything bad about it, but I want to say something bad. So, you know, I'm trying to be as you know genuine as possible. The only like feedback I could give it is some of the features are so advanced that I just have no idea. And I think it's great because if you're a agriculture, you know, lawn enthusiast who loves this kind of stuff and wants to take advantage of those features, you obviously can. But to somebody like me who really doesn't have a deep understanding of all these things, it's a little bit confusing in that like, I don't know what this one does, you know? So for instance, this allowed depletion I'm not 100% sure what it is. I just left it on the default 50% and I'm sure I could Google it and look it up, but I just didn't take the time. The point is though, is that some of the features might be a little bit too advanced for someone to really know how to use. So someone like me will just leave it on default, but maybe just like a little thing there, like, hey, if you don't know, leave it on default. Or if you'd like to learn more, here's like some references or something. But again, I'm just nitpicking because I really couldn't find much wrong with this. And I think you get the point. Like I said, I was pleasantly surprised and impressed with the capabilities, the user interface, the way it looked. Um, I'm super happy with it. I feel like I got really lucky that I got that email and they're willing to give me a free unit to review. And that's my review. And if you're looking for a smart sprinkler system, I definitely don't think you'll be disappointed with this guy. And I would highly recommend it. 